Hey everyone, it's Lillian again. I am just coming back to you with another video, something slightly different than what I've done before. I apologize, I'm like looking for the other lace. I knew it, I felt a bit off. Um, but yeah, so uh, as you know, we're in a new year, it's 2021, and it's not uncommon for people to want to make fitness goals and all that stuff, which is great. This is not a fitness goal video by any means. But with uh, people who want to make fitness goals, a lot of them like to look for new clothing to wear, like fitness wear. So um, I wanted to do a Fabletics review. Um, I'm not like affiliated with them. Not This is not sponsored, even though I would love to be. Um, I have purchased from them for about a year and a half, two years now. Uh, the last purchase I made was uh, in the spring of 2020 with the Demi Lovato collection. So I just wanted to do a review on some of the leggings that I have. Um, now, some of them, they are fairly old, so they're not on the site anymore, but there are com comparable ones on the site. So the first one I wanted to show you were these purple and pink ones. Um, they are the power hold ones. The power hold ones are my absolute favorite ones. And it looks like this. So this is like the base color. And then it just goes down like that. And then there's a bit of pink here. And then it's just like basically all one color going down. And all of the leggings are high-waisted as well. So this one is not on the site anymore. It was in the fall of last year, but it's not there anymore because it is fairly old. But um, there's a comparable comparable one here that I actually do have. Um, they call it the Dynamic Waist, the Dynamic High Waisted Latisse 7 8. So that's 7 8 is the length. And these ones are power hold as well. And I, I'm, actually, I'm actually wearing them right now. Um, so I will read you the description. So basically it's a high support, uh, high support legging and it is max compression. So all the power hold are max compression with a 7-8 length and it's designed with uh, cool mesh panels and all that stuff. So yeah, these ones, super comfortable. I have done HIT classes in these, um, that, so that's, that's like the high intensity interval training classes. I've done it in these, I've done like Pilates and stuff in these as well, and they've held up fairly well. I have not like sweat through them or anything. They absorb it pretty well, and when it comes to washing, and this goes for all of them, I just follow the instructions that are on the tag, which is like, literally looks like a laundry list, it's so long. But um, basically, they say to put it in the washer, do not use any fabric softener, and then let it air dry. And that's what I've done for all of them, and it's held up pretty well. This one, I purchased this one in 2019, and um, yeah, it looks fairly new still, and I love it. All right, so the next one, or the next three, are the Trinity High Waisted Utility Leggings, and I bought these in 2019 as well and they are they're still on the site but they're in like the clearance section or the sale section so I feel like they're on like they're selling like the last few and then once it's gone it's gone but they have various ones um, for the Trinity ones they're the motion 365 leggings which I think is a step down from the power hold and those are the only two ones no, I'm lying. I do have three different ones, but two that I wear um, consistently in terms of the fabric. So the Trinity High Waisted Utility ones, I got them in a bundle deal. Um, I think it was fall of 2019. And I got it in a navy blue, a burgundy, and a green one. So I will, let me read the product description first and then I'll show you them. So it says, meet the brand new cousin, it's not brand new anymore, <laughs> of our best-selling best Trinity style, cut from the same Motion 360 fabric. This legging 
features ankle zips for extra mobility, a hidden zip pocket in the back, a mesh pocket on one side, and a secure zipper pocket on the other. And the features, so it says external pocket, always stretch, chafe resistant, moisture wicking, and zip pockets. So again, the care, it's the same in terms of washing. So this is the navy one. I'll give you the exact coloring of it, if they even have it still. Uh, no, we'll just go with, we'll just go with navy, because <laughs> I don't think they have this particular one. But yeah, so this is the navy one that I have. It has like this lime green contrast, and it's a, this is a full length one. It goes right down to the ankles, and there's the zip, zippers here. I just unzipped it to take it off, but um, yeah, this is what it looks like, and then it's just all navy at the back, and then of course, oh, and there's the zip pocket at the back. You can just put it down, and you could put like your key here. You could put key, lip gloss, maybe a cell phone, but now with the size of cell phones nowadays, maybe not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what that looks like. And it has the pocket on the side, which that does fit a cell phone. I've done that before. And it has the Fabletic symbol there. Uh, this is the olive green one. I apologize, they're all a bit of a mess because when I was filming them on, I was just like, took it off, threw it on the bed, next legging, took it off, threw it on the bed, so they're all a bit messy. But yeah, this is the green one that I got, and this one's just solid green all the way down and even the zippers. And this is the back. And then the burgundy-ish one. This one I like really just made inside out. Give me one second. So this is what this one looks like. So what I'm showing you now is the back. And here is the front. And you see it has like a magenta contrasting zipper here. And then again, the ankle zips there. The green one had the ankle zips, but it's all one color. Um, so yeah, I really like those. I have worn them to hit, I think maybe once or so once or twice. Um, I prefer the darker ones because I, I think it's a psychological thing. I do prefer to wear darker leggings if I'm doing something that requires a lot of movement and a lot of sweating, um, just for fear of sweating through them. But um, I haven't sweat through them doing anything, any type of exercise, whether that be an actual class or doing a walk in the neighborhood um, on a hot day um, if I didn't feel like wearing shorts. And um, yeah, they've been good. I've worn them to Pilates as well. They've held up really well. Stretch is great. And yeah, I think that they're a great um, option to consider. Like I said, they may not be selling this exact one anymore, but they have a variety of ones in this material and I do consider it very, very, very comfortable. Um, yeah, so let's move on to the next legging. All right, so the next one is one from the Demi Lovato collection that came out in the spring of 2020. Um, this was the last pair of leggings that I purchased from them, uh, just because one, I wanted to save money, and because uh, I, I was just buying too much, so I just wanted to save money. And um, shipping was such a hassle because of COVID and everything, so it took a lot longer than usual to get to me, and. Honestly, because I'm, we're not really going anywhere, there's no point in like just buying stuff. So yeah, this was the last purchase I got from them. This is a uh, this is a power hold one as well. Unfortunately, this was limited edition, so you can't find it on their site anymore. But um, there, I I thoroughly enjoy all the power hold leggings that I do have. Um, so you could get something similar, but this is a black on black one, and. You can see they ha it, it goes a bit sheer here and all that stuff. And then on the back, it's solid. And it's very nice. It's I think it's reminiscent to some maybe Lululemon leggings. I don't have... Actually, I do have one pair of leggings from there from years ago. Um, I feel like I may have given those to my sister because I think I, I grew out of them a bit. 
But um, yeah, uh, these are very, very comfortable. Again, they stretch perfectly. This one, I consider this legging to be kind of like a going out legging, like you, like an athleisure we uh, wedding, <laughs> athleisure legging. Um, because these are so nice, like I don't want to work out in them, but I'd wear them like if I was going to the mall, like when going to the mall was okay, or if, if I was going out for coffee with a friend, or going to the movies, whatever, you know, when we were able to be social outside. Um, yeah, this is what I'd wear that for. I feel like these are too nice to work out in, so um, that's what I'm going to be using these ones for, but all the other ones are strictly for me to work out in. And yeah, so that was that. Also, oh, I actually got this sweater from the Demi Lovato collection as well. This one, I don't believe it's on the site as either. Um, if it if it is, I'll just say like yes or no on the screen if it's available or not. But it's just like this very loose fitting, low cut sweater. It's a hoodie. So it has this hood here. I do have braids and so, oh, it's actually, it's a very deep hoodie clearly because it went over the bun. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Long sleeve. It is cropped a bit. I know you can't really see, but it's um, like a twisted knot here. And it goes, it like hits my belly button. So like I said, all these are um, high-waisted. So everything is covered if you are concerned about modesty. Um, and two more leggings. So the one that I'm wearing this one is also a power hold legging, and it is on the website. They have, it looks like they have a few left, and it's, again, it's on clearance uh, right now. It looks like it's for, like, 36 bucks. Um, and, again, these are the dynamic high-waisted La T7-8, so similar to these ones that I showed at the beginning but this one's black on black and um yeah so seven eight means that it kind of hits like right above the ankle but I'm like fairly short so it could be considered full length but um yeah it just depends on your height really these ones are like super duper comfortable they're black on black they have this crisscross thing on um the calf to the ankle and it's a sheer material and like you'll see in the clip that I show that there um, very comfortable I have done like I said I've done hit in these before and I've done um, like Pilates and all that stuff like floor work um, with it before and it's been great um, another legging that I do have that I did not do a recording clip of and um, Fabletics doesn't even sell this one anymore. I have no idea what it's called. I tried to find it, but this was like the very, very, very first one that I purchased back in 2019, like spring. And these are a, I think they're a seven eighth as well. And these are, these are one of the thinner fabrics. I want to say that it is called, give me one second. I'm going to assume that it's called either the Pure Lux or the Seamless. I'm leaning towards Pure Lux because the description of that, it says soft, super soft buttery feel allows for total range of motion. Yeah, and that's exactly what it feels like. It's super buttery. Um, I haven't had an issue when it comes to washing this or any of them for that matter. And um, yeah, my the only reason why I didn't bother even filming this was, like I said, they don't sell this particular one anymore. And two, I prefer the uh, stronger or higher compression uh, leggings that I showed you previously. So that's the Motion 365 and the Power Hole. Those are my favorites. I think those look best on people who tend to be curvier like myself. Um, and all of these are all in size large. I just realized I forgot to mention that, but all of them are size large. And yeah, they're very, very comfortable. Um, these ones have do have pockets on both sides and they're fairly, fairly deep. They can hold um, a cell phone. And yeah, they're very, very comfortable. These ones, um, I think that they're best for any type of floor work. I've tried them doing hit and they kept falling down because they don't have a high compression. So uh, just keep that in mind if you, or when you're looking on the site. And they do tell you on the site, like, 
which material is best for what type of activity. So you could always just read up on that and make your decision that way. Um, also, another one that I didn't film because I actually forgot slash, you know, it's winter um, and I didn't feel like putting on shorts, but I have these shorts. I got them, I feel like I bought them in the winter actually because it was on sale um, in 2019 and they look like this and they have like this under shorts, if you will, underneath um, and yeah, these are super comfortable. These are high-waisted as well and um, every time I wear them out in the summer, I get so many compliments. Uh, they do not sell them anymore, unfortunately, uh, but I think that they have similar ones on this site, so you just have to take a look. Um, it's probably best to check maybe spring, summer, um, when they update their shorts. And then the next things I want to show are some sports bras. So one I'm wearing right now, and all three of the ones that I'm showing you, they do not sell them anymore. And I'm very disappointed because these were my favorite types of bras and the only ones that I liked purchasing from Fabletics. So these ones were the, uh, let me see. Okay, so these were the high impact sports bras. For anybody who has a sizable chest would love these bras. Why? Because they're not a bra that you have to pull over or whenever you're finished a workout to take off. It's such a pain to do that because um, like, you're all sweaty and gross and whatever, right? But these ones, they all have zippers. And um, so this one, I don't remember the name of any of them, but it's kind of irrelevant because they don't sell them anymore. Last I checked. And um, I really do hope that Fabletics sees this and that they do bring them back or a version of this back. So... This one has like a mesh thing and it's like a crisscross at the back. I do have a black one, so I'll show that in a second. Um, this one was in the same family. So this had a zipper at the front and it's a crisscross at the back. And all of them have this like thick band here for support. And I truly, truly loved it. This one doesn't have mesh. This was just like solid. Like so once you zipped it up, that's it. Everything was covered. And then the black version to this green, like all of the green one that I'm wearing, um, this is it. Truly, truly love it. And they do have like a padding here so you don't really have any like nipples showing through. And um, yeah, again, the thick band here. And yeah, I, I thoroughly loved it. And I remember going to the Fabletics site, I think earlier last year just to see if they had any more and to my disappointment they didn't have any more and I'm like these were the my favorite these were my favorite types of sports bras because once I discovered zip ones in the middle I'm like it's hard to go back to just regular pullover ones so um yeah Fabletics if you're seeing this please bring it back <laughs> um but yeah so that is my like review on all the leggings that I have from Fabletics or just products because it's more than leggings. Um, I do love them. Um, they do have a like a VIP membership program. Um, so basically what that is, you don't have to pay like full price for these products. You get it at a special rate if you are part of their um, membership. Um, and it is a monthly thing, so if you do not want to be credited or you don't want to buy anything um, for the month, you do have, I believe it's five days to skip the month, so you're not, your card isn't charged, and that's what I do. I just have a reminder on my phone um, just saying you can either buy or skip, buy or skip, Lily, and I think I, I let it remind me on like the second or third of each month, um, and then... I do accordingly. I have been skipping a lot just because, again, trying to save money. But um, I did look at the site today. Uh, today's January 1st, but this will probably go up tomorrow on the 2nd. And they do have some really uh, cute stuff that's there now. But um, you guys take a look if you want and see if you want to purchase anything. Again, I get nothing from this. This is just me informing you. And um, I also, I thought it was very nice of... Um, for me to show people or the general public um, the view of somebody who's not like crazy crazy fit or skinny because um, like I said all of these are in size large 
and they fit me perfectly. Anything smaller is just not that comfortable. And let me just talk about the return policy, uh, especially for Canadians. So I, I think one time I did purchase a medium of one of the Mila leggings. I think it, it was actually the same pattern as this one, like the army one. And I don't know why I thought I could fit into a medium, but whatever, I purchased it. And um, the Mila leggings, they actually don't have as much stretch as any of these other leggings that I have. So I wanted to return it. So I just, I followed like the instructions on the website, but um, it, it kept saying that it sent me like the packing slip, but like every time I went to my email, like I got the Fabletics email, but there was no packing slip there. So what I did, I called customer service and they they just basically went through like what was on the site and they sent me something. But again, it was just like the same thing that I was getting when I was doing it myself. So um, when I told the lady, I'm like, you do know I'm in, I'm in Canada, right? Like, I don't know if there's anything different um, to do because I'm not in the U.S. So she's like, okay, try this. So what she did was she literally um, spelt out word or letter for letter, number for number, the URL or whatever it is um, to put in the um, search bar thingy for in, in your browser. And I did it like one by one. And then that's when I saw the packing slip and then I just printed it out and um, put it on the package and sent it back. And yeah, I, I got my refund on that. So just beware, like for any Canadians, um, if you do want to return something, you might have to go through that process. Um, but like once once I got that, everything was easy. I, I'm hoping it's easier for the people that live in the US. But um, yeah, that's just an FYI. Other than that, I believe that's it. Um, I thoroughly do love Fabletics. It's primarily what I live in when it comes to fitness wear. I do have a few like old navy leggings that I think I got as like presents and stuff for like past Christmases and whatever, um, which are just as great. Um, but I, I do have mostly Fabletic stuff and I just wanted to share that with you. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please do comment and subscribe and let me know if you've tried Fabletics before and what you think about them. And other than that, I will see you in another video. Bye.